In this video, we're going to replace this front impact sensor on this Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. We're going to remove this plate right here. Use a 13 millimeter socket. Take these bolts out. When you get to the last one, just make sure you hold it so it doesn't fall. Slide it out. Now we're gonna remove this terminal here, use a 10 millimeter socket. And just wiggle that off and set that aside. Now we're gonna remove this shield, use a 15 millimeter socket, take these four bolts out. Now disconnect the connector right here. You can use a straight blade screwdriver or even just a pick. Just pop this little lock off. That pops back. And the connector is right there. Just push up on that and disconnect the connector. Using a 10 millimeter ratchet wrench, loosen up the bolt in the center. Once you break it free, you should be able to do it by hand. Just gonna have to reach over this little par or across cross member. And slide it out. Now line the sensor up and get the bolt started. Take the ratchet wrench, get the bolt all the way on. And snug the bolt down. If you can get a torque wrench in here, you want to torque that to 71 inch pounds. Good. Now plug the connector in, line it up, lock it down, and then take this little lock, line that up, and push that in. Now slide the shield in place, and get the bolt started. And the two down below. And we'll snug these up. Not too tight. Just snug. Now take the negative terminal, line it up, use a 10 millimeter socket, and we'll just snug this down. Just give it a wiggle, make sure it's not loose. Take this plate, line it up, get the bolts started. Snug these down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.